guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And today I have a pretty big Goodwill Outlet bins haul. This might be pretty long. <laughs> I don't know. I went to two different bins locations in one day and kind of got a lot. So, sorry, my dog likes to open um, doors. Anyways, so yeah, it's going to be kind of long. So get some listings done, get some photographing done, cross listing, whatever you need to do or watch. Um, but yeah, also, I don't know if you can notice, but I'm using a different camera. So I typically film on my phone, but I pulled out this, this is the strap. This is the Canon T3i. I've had this since like middle school um, and I used it during photography class so I've had it for a really long time but I'm just gonna try it to film this haul and see if it looks good <laughs> so yeah anyways let's just get started off the top here this is super cute um, this is a burning torch so now I guess I have to show the tag here is it backwards I don't know burning torch um, this is super cute this is like a chambray um, tunic top and it's pretty long actually I thought maybe it could be a dress I mean it depends on your height but it could be a dress and then the back has these like patches one time I had this burning torch sweater and apparently it was like rare because I think it's an anthropology brand that's no longer a brand like it's discontinued um, I don't know about this one since it's just basic but I was still happy to find an anthropology brand Okay, next is a new to me brand. Um, I mainly got this based on style and because it has linen. This is called Mod Ref, size large. And so yeah, like I said, it's a linen blend. And it's really cute. So it's like this cream, like boat neck sweater. It's like open knit kind of um, super, super soft and comfy. Luckily, I found the stock photo. This is still on the website for like 75 maybe. It might be on sale. I don't remember. But I was like willing to, you know, try a new brand. Next is this Madewell size medium cardigan sweater. And I don't know if you can see that, but one of our dogs, he opens doors like with the handle. He like pushes it up with his nose, so I have to lock the doors. So he's like trying to open it, but it's locked, so... Anyways, <laughs> this is just a Madewell cardigan. It's pretty lightweight and pretty basic. I think this is called the Graduate or something. Um, but yeah, it's just like a nice lightweight cotton. All right, this is completely new to me. I didn't even look it up, but when I got home and was photographing it, I looked it up and comps are like $30 for this shirt. So the brand is the Pyramid Collection and this tag doesn't really look, you know, all that like amazing. And this is what the top looks like. The reason I grabbed it is because it was just a new to me brand and I meant to look it up at the bins, but I forgot. And so yeah, I think I listed this for around 30. Okay, he wants to go into the kitchen, but he likes to eat stuff out of the sink, so I can't let him. <laughs> okay, here's a couple pairs of shoes. I have more shoes in the car that I'll bring in for this video, but these ones are just right here. So this is the brand Bali or Bali, Switzerland. This is vintage and this brand is so expensive. Definitely a bolo. Um, not all styles sell super well, but they, these are in super good condition. As you can see, um, they're like a men's Oxford. Is that what they're called? Derby Oxford. They're size 10, 10 B. Anyways, they're like a leather, um, shoe i could see someone wearing this to like a special event with like a suit but they're super nice and really good condition um and then in, similarly the same color but these are different <laughs> similarly but different these are doc martin's air cushioned sole shoes in a size six and i don't know if you can see that but these are actually vintage um and you know that they're vintage when it says made in england because i don't think they're made in england anymore <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's great. Moose, come here. I don't know if you guys have seen Moose before, but he's um, he's a big, big dog. Anyways, these are really cute. So I listed these kind of high because of the style, and I think these are not very, like, common. I listed them, like, 
I think I put like Y2K chunky leather shoes, maybe Mary Jane, I don't know, I don't remember, but um, I thought those were a definite yes. <clears throat> okay, I also got this bag. This is I was just putting stuff in to store, but I actually looked it up and these retail, this tote bag retails for like $44, so I think I listed it for around 20 The brand is just Santa Barbara Design Studio and they make like big canvas totes like this. Like a lot of their stuff says like um, wedding vibes or something. This one says honeymoon vibes. So I don't know, someone might want that. So I did list it. Okay, next are these little biker shorts. And these are by Aerie and these are offline by Aerie which always sells so well for me. They're like a salmon pink color and they do have side pockets. I feel like biker short, shorts sell really well for me, um, like typically, and Aerie always does sell well for me as well. <laughs> hey Moose, come here. Come here Moose. Let's see if I can, this camera, I don't even know how to use it. There he is, it's right there. Moose, come here, wanna say hi? Wanna say hi to the camera? That's Moose, so he is a, he's the same age as my other dog Ashley that you guys have seen. Um, but he is a, the sweetest, the sweetest dog ever. He is a red bone hound mixed with a, what is it? Chesapeake Bay Retriever. So he's a mix of those two. He's like a hundred pounds. <laughs> but he's a really, really sweet boy. Okay, next are these frame jeans. These are unfortunately kind of a smaller size. But these are frame size 25 and these are the Lay Skinny Day Jean. Hard for me to leave behind frame at the bins because it's just so lightweight. And you know this brand is so expensive. So I did pick these up and I think they'll still sell but I don't know how much. He's just standing here. And you're a really good boy. Alright, next is this Zara top. This is a size large. I don't typically pick up like really basics, but I thought this was cute with like the collared like polo type of design <laughs> and it's like kind of cropped. So I'll probably only get like 10 to 15 for that. This was such a good find. This was like in a brand new rotation. This is Patagonia. This is a kid's Patagonia. This is a kid size large or 12 and it's like a cinchilla tea snap fleece really cute I think I can get at least 30 to 35 for that is you see that <laughs> he just needs to always be near somebody yes you're really sweet you're so sweet okay <clears throat> next is this brand that I've never heard of before but I kind of just got it based on style and I thought it was really good like a just a really cute style that's basically it um it's called heartloom never heard of it size large and it's made in india i really really liked this fabric and the cute little tassel on the front and it's just like a oops it's just like a sheath like straight dress probably more like a midi length with like a boxy look to it i really like that so i don't know what i'm gonna list that for but <clears throat> yeah do you want to say hi Okay, this is a Madewell sweater. This is a cardigan, size small. Sorry if you guys like can't see the um, tags. It's just, I don't know how to have it autofocus. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So for now, just bear with me. Um, this one's a alpaca wool blend in this nice dark um, green color. It's like a forest green. Really, really like that. It's kind of like short, so it's, I don't think it's called the Kent cardigan. That's like a longer made well sweater but um he's smelling all the clothes <laughs> okay this is another pair of frame jeans these are size 27 the lay high skinny and they look like this they actually so they have like a raw hem and they keep distressing they do have a little bit of puckering on the front which is just like typical but i'm just gonna list them low again i don't think i looked those over when i was at the bins so I probably would have thrown those back. <clears throat> I'm 
Next um, is this Anthropology postmark. Um, I really want you guys to be able to see postmark there. But no, it's not. Yeah, there we go. Size small. And it's this top. So this is like striped and then it has a like lace sleeve. Yeah. Looks like that. Pretty yeah. cute. Okay, next is this Free People sweater. This is a size medium. This is a wool blend. Like black and white knit. I thought this was so cute. Like perfect for like winter, but I know winter's almost over. <laughs> Um, okay, next is this tank top. This is Free People, size small. This is an interesting Free People tag. I don't see it very often. But. Okay, next is, this is the brand Babette, size large. Um, looks like that. And they're just like a pull-on pant. Like a green color. I've sold this brand before. I think it's from San Francisco. And it has like a following, weirdly enough, so still decided to grab that. Okay, I sh thought I would show some of the things I just photographed. Um, these are a pair of Timberland boots. As you can see, um, I actually made a reel on Instagram about these. I put Doc Martin Wonder Balsam all over them. They look way better than they did before. Um, these are size men's nine and a half um, Timberlands. This is a Arizona Dynamics hat. I don't know what that means, but I like to pick up hats in good condition at the bins because they're really easy to photograph, super easy to list, and they weigh very little at the bins. <laughs> um, and then I got this Batman hat. Um, and then I was excited to find this. This is a Hobo wallet. Um, these are like super expensive. They're genuine leather and this one's a really pretty color. Um, they also open like this and I'll show you the logo. It's in, sorry, this is really hard to do for some reason. There's the logo. Okay, so I grabbed this without even looking it up at the bins. It's like a tool belt. Um, AWP is the brand. There's a tag in there. It just says made in China, 100% polyester. Um, and then this buckles around your waist. It's for tools. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty good find. This isn't too exciting because it's just a dust bag, but it is Veronica Beard. Um, it also has a couple surface stains that I need to wash and stain treat. Um, but I thought I would grab it, you know, anyways. Next are these super cute leather Zara Basic. Um, little pointed toe flats. They do have this little thing right here, which I'm going to try to get off. It might be surface stain. <laughs> I don't know yet, but they're a size 38 and they are so cute. Okay, next is this little Vera Bradley bag. This is super cute. It's like a brown floral color. Um, my battery is flashing. Am I going to have to film the rest on my phone? Anyways, <laughs> I'll just film until it dies. But anyways, it's in super good condition, so I was like, I'm going to grab this. Um, yeah. All right, this is so soft. This is incredibly soft. So this is Theory. Um, this is a size large, and I just kind of guessed that this was men's. Um, I'm not, like, 100% sure because I couldn't find the style online. Like, I couldn't find a stock photo. But it is this V-neck sweater. It's so thick and, like, really soft. This feels expensive, you know? Um, and Theory is expensive, but this is like 95% wool. So yeah, I listed this under men's, but of course a woman could buy it, but it is categorized under men. Um, the inside is so cool. It's like a little like terry cloth feel, but it's like wool. I don't know. It's hard to explain. This is so soft though. And um, yeah, I love finding Theory and it sells much better if it's like a sweater um, rather than just like, you know, t-shirt or something. Um, another men's piece. I don't pick up a lot of men's stuff, but I will if it's good brands. This is Everlane Uniform. Size extra small. And it's just a cotton button-up. Full button-up. It's like a light gray color. And um, I did see somebody throw this back, so I meticulously looked over it for flaws. And I couldn't find anything wrong with it, so maybe they just don't sell Everlane or they don't like men's pieces or something. Um, but it's an excellent
excellent condition. So I think I listed that for like 28 or something like that. All right, this is Madewell size small. This is so funny because so I listed this last night um, and it's like a gingham checkered print top. And so I listed it last night and I said in the description like orange tan color, right? Like that, wouldn't you say that's like an orange tan color? Also my dog is right there chewing, if you can hear that. Hey Ashley. Um, and so I got a comment, She, this woman commented and said, is it orange or is it tan? And I was like, it's an orange, I responded like, it's an orangey tan color. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, it's, look at the photos and you can see what you think that looks like. But anyways, what would you guys describe that as? Tan or orange? But like, I don't think it matters that much if you see the photos. Anyways, thought that was cute. This is J. Crew size small. And I thought this was interesting because there's these like bleach splotches, splotches all over. And I was nervous that that's like not how it came, but I did find a stock photo and it is, it does come with the bleach. This is another Madewell piece. This one is an extra small, and it's like this super nice striped button front shirt. This one's like a thick cotton. I'm so sorry if you can hear her on the floor. I can't get her to stop. She'll follow me with that bone. Um, anyways, so yeah, it's an older tag, but I thought the style was cute enough. Um, I actually passed on a Madewell sweater this day because I already have like two of the exact same sweater in my closet that hasn't sold so i was like that's growth for me because i typically would pick it up no matter what and i knew that it's not selling so yeah all right this is enzo montonani i have never heard of this before i don't know if it's anything you can't even really read it because it's in cursive size large but i grabbed this because it's 100 percent cashmere and i love the color it's like a nice bright pink v-neck sweater um i listed this under women's but again it could be men's you know i wear men's stuff all the time so it's it's not it doesn't really matter you just have to list it under one of them this is airy and this is a new with tags top i wouldn't have got this if it wasn't new with tags because it's just a basic pocket tee but you know it's new from the bins it's hard to see this go to the landfill so I think I listed this around 20 and I'm obviously open to offers. This is a vintage LL Bean. I think it's vintage. I'm not totally sure. Size women's 14 petite and it's called like the Auk 70 and this is a linen cotton dress. So it's hard to show because it's super long. It's like really, <laughs> a really long dress, but it's just a sleeveless like um, neutral color beige dress. Um, I love selling LL Bean in general and this was nice fabric content. <clears throat> okay, next I was like, oh my gosh, please be Burberry, please be Burberry, and it wasn't, but that's okay. This is the brand Bugatti Uomo. I don't know. Size large and actually luckily this is 100% linen and so yeah, it looks exactly like Burberry Novacek. So I did put Novacek in the um, title. Um, I didn't say Burberry at all because I don't want that to like mess with people's search. But it does really have, like it looks literally like a Burberry scarf or shirt. I thought that was kind of nice and linen, so. Okay, next thing I got was this bag. I actually grabbed this just to like throw stuff in because I didn't have a cart for a while. Um, this is Pottery, or not Pottery Barn, um, Barnes and Nobles. And it's just a felt bag with like this faux fur upper. I thought it was super cute and like a sturdy bag. You know, either I will sell it or keep it. I haven't photographed it or anything, but I could put some like packages in there or something. I just thought that was kind of cute. All right, I charged my camera and I actually photographed a big pile of the stuff I'm gonna show you and then I have just so much stuff. You guys, this video might be pretty long, <laughs> um, but we'll just have to see how long this actually gets. Um, I don't know this brand. I still haven't looked it up. It's called Hind, um, size large. They're just a pair of shorts. I feel like these are just some athletic brand. Um, 
I swear she was quiet this whole time. She wasn't making any noise and now that I start recording she finds a squeaky toy. I just want to let you guys know that I put out tons of bins hauls. If you're new to my channel, I put out a lot of thrift hauls, bins hauls, thread up unboxings, things like that. And if you don't want to miss that, then I would love if you guys would subscribe um, so you'll never miss another haul video. Um, also, stay tuned because my favorite find of the day will be towards the end because it's still in my car. But <laughs> it's like the best. I, uh, and I have a funny story about it. So anyways, let's just continue. Um, these are cute. These are Levi's rib cage straight and it's size 27. I like picking up the Levi's that have like like the wedgie or you know like the balloon leg things like that. Those tend to sell much better than just a regular pair of Levi's. I'm going to stand up so I can show you. They're a button fly. Um, literally just a straight leg jean. They're in excellent condition. Super cute. I love this style. If these were my size I would definitely try them on. These are interesting. So, um, I found these in a bin that had already been looked through, and I noticed that they were 100% linen, like I can just tell. Um, and the inside just says the little small, like it just has an S. And so I did a little bit of looking, and I found this inside tag, and there's a website that says thebridalthread.com.au, so Australian. And this is super expensive. So this is like probably a bolo. Um, I actually haven't look at, looked at sold, so I don't know if I can claim it's a bolo yet. But <laughs> um, it's I was pleasantly surprised. So it says um, it says 100% linen, and then it says luxury French flax. So yeah, I was excited to find those. They're just basic shorts, but you know it's a new to me brand, so I was excited. Okay, these are a pair of Daughters of the Liberation. This is a anthropology brand. These are a size of four. I think it might be an older anthropology brand, so not like super desirable. These are just like a chino straight leg pant. Kind of has like that Y2K look, like sort of low waisted. Um, but yeah, grab those. Um, these are super nice because they're all white and there's no staining on them which is always a plus so these are a pair of lululemon shorts and um i actually so the when i found them the drawstring one of them was like all the way back here and so i had to like sit there and fish it out which i did it took so long but i'm really happy i finally got that out um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to. Yeah, there's the little Lululemon. These are size, let's see, the back pocket has the size in it. Um, I remember I saw it, so let's see. They're a size 8. Which, does, they seem a little small, but I guess they're like supposed to be really short. Um, and then also these are Lululemon, but these ones are men's. These are in excellent condition. They're just like a sh black shorts, kind of a longer inseam. Um, and you can tell they're men's. First, I could just tell by the style, but the Lululemon logo when it has like the box around it, I don't know if you can really see that. There's like a box that usually means men's and these are size medium. So also women's shorts don't their sizing is numeral and the men's are like small, medium, large. So it's another way to know. Um, these are Zara and these are size 10. I thought these were so cute. These are the 90s Bermuda short. They're so cute. This will be good for, you know, the upcoming seasons, which I can't even believe like that it's going to be spring next. I just can't believe that. Felt like it was just spring. They're a zipper fly denim jean short. I just thought those were a good style like Bermudas tend to sell pretty well. Um, so there's some bread and butter mixed with some bolos so um, like I see a bolo over here that I am excited to show you guys so just stay tuned. <laughs> um, okay these were cuffed but these are a pair of Levi's. These are the Levi's premium which doesn't always like increase the value or anything but 
These are a pair of light wash, super distressed jeans. I thought these were just like really cute. These are the 501 and they are a button fly. Just like super distressed. Thought they were cute with a somewhat distressed hem. So, got those. Um, and then these two are just like super bread and butter, but I'll tell you why I got them. These are Uniqlo. And the reason I got these ones is because they're 52% uh, linen. And I find that linen pants, no matter the brand, send, tend to sell pretty well. Um, these are just like a nice tapered leg and they're a size extra small. And I, I feel like a lot of people like um, Uniqlo. So these are also Uniqlo. These ones are a wool blend, which is why I got them. So nowadays I'll typically only pick up Uniqlo if they're like wool, linen, cashmere, or like a nice collab. So um, yeah, these ones are a size medium and they're like a herringbone. Is that what that's called? No. Chevron? I don't know. Like trouser. So grabbed those. Okay. Those are all like pants. Um, next is a brand that I love, love, love to sell. This is Smart Wool. And I will pick up this brand regardless of condition because a lot of people wear it as like base layers and they don't care. Luckily, I didn't find any stains or holes on this sweater. It's a nice lavender wool sweater with like kind of a really cute balloon sleeve, which I don't typically see with like Smart Wool. Usually it's pretty basic. Um, but this. This sweater has quite a bit of like wash wear pilling, which I think I might be able to get off, but regardless, I will, I know I'll still be able to sell it. Um, yeah, did I say size large? So, that was good. This I'm trying to figure out still, and I might have to put this on a hanger to show you. All right, this piece is Zara, size small, <clears throat> and uh, this, I put it on the hanger, but this part fell off. Um, this is a linen dress and it has, so basically it's like this light pink upper and then this part is like separated but connected by the buttons on the front. I just hit my elbow, ow. Um, and this part like is on your body so it's hard, it's gonna be really hard for me to photograph this because these straps keep falling down but if you can imagine like this is the back part. So. I thought this was a super cute style. I love Zara in general, but this specifically had a lot of factors that made me want to pick it up, like linen, trendy, <clears throat> cute. Okay, this is definitely a bolo um, because not only this is super popular, but this brand is no longer being made, so it's discontinued. Um, this is Ibex. So I B E X. This one is a size small, and I feel like this is sort of an older tag. It says made in USA. This is a purple full zip sweater. Um, and then this is the logo, just so you guys know. That looks like that. It really, I get them mixed up with the All Saints um, logo. They look similar to me. Um, but this one is 100% merino wool. They typically are wool or a wool blend. So, this was really close to that smart wool sweater in the bin, so I feel like they were donated by the same person, but you never know, but I always guess. Um, okay, this is, I don't know how to say this, Faconable, size extra large. Um, can you guys see that? And then this is actually happens to be new with tags size extra large and the color is marine this is a men's polo um, I've sold this brand before and it smells kind of good actually <laughs> it's weird the back says uh, the brand and then it says yachting so maybe they had like a yacht line not totally sure but I feel like this should sell pretty well since it is new with tags and I know this brand is expensive uh, all right Next is this wool blend sweater by J. Crew. 
This one is a size medium. I do apologize. Like I said earlier, I don't know how to have an autofocus because I don't want to have to defocus. It's... I'll have to figure this out. But it's this really cute turtleneck sweater in like a camel color. Um, I think, is that how you'd say camel or tan? I'm not totally sure. But it's super cute. This is a bolo that I learned. Um, I had never seen it before and I picked it up because um, of the way that I thought it felt. Um, of the way that I thought it felt. Nice. <laughs> that was not a sentence. Um, so this is the brand. It is called Pas de Calais. So P-A-S space D-E space C-A-L-A-I-S in a size 34. And it is this like cashmere long sweater dress. It's so like luxury feeling. It is just really nice. And I want to make sure it's 100% cashmere, because I feel like it is. Oh, I'm wrong. It's 100% wool. Why did I think this was cashmere? Probably because it's so incredibly soft. 100% um, wool. Size 34. I'm glad I looked at that before. I just put cashmere in the title. <laughs> um, this is <clears throat> Torrid in a size 2X. Torrid is just, you know, basic bread and butter for me, but I like picking it up. This is a cute, um, like, baby doll popover top in, like, a plaid print. Okay, this is what I was talking about when I was saying that I found this bolo that I was, that was over here. I pulled this out of the bin, knew it was 100% linen just by how it felt, and the tag just told me, like, you gotta look this up. So this is the brand... Elizabeth Susan and the Susan is spelled S-U-Z-A-N-N. -N. I really wish you guys could see that. So Elizabeth Susan and this is like like lag and look to the max. It's just a boxy sheath black dress. Super basic. 100% linen. It would be even more lag and look if it had a huge like drapey asymmetrical pocket on the front but <laughs> it doesn't. Um, the inside tag says one size fits most. It has like handwriting. So it's like it was handmade by Sam, it says. It says sewn by Sam. One size fits most. And then on the side it says 100% linen and signature generation. I don't know. I knew it was something by the way that it felt in the tag. So, Yeah. I'm excited about that. Comps are 100 plus, especially for dresses for, by this brand. They're like 120, 150. This is Classiques Entier, which I only pick up like certain styles by this brand. This one's a size 12 petite. And this is a Nordstrom brand. This is a really cute like blazer though. And I loved the inside fabric, the lining. It's like a paisley print. This is a cotton viscose linen blend. Um, and the back has like a cute little button detail, so I don't expect like a whole ton from that, but I'm still excited about it. Why did I get so much cashmere today? I'm so excited about it, but... So this is 100% cashmere by Lafayette 148. I like selling this brand. It's a nice, expensive brand, especially their cashmere. Size medium. This is like a mint green half sleeve. I haven't looked this over very well for holes yet, so I don't know. But just by like looking at it right now, I don't see any holes. Just like very, very, very light pilling. It's a nice boxy fit. The color's not coming up great on the camera, but it is like a more of a minty blue-green color. So I like that. I'll probably list that for 50 or 60. Not sure yet. Um, this is J Crew so small. I thought this was so cute with the bow on the back. Like how this gives me like picnic vibes. Probably because of the gingham. But it is this really cute dress with a ruffle bottom. Black and white. Zips on the back. And yeah, it's just like a cute little dress. 
Um, so, sorry, my sister's texting me. And so that, that's a cute, that's a really cute one. All right, let me just show this because it's right here. This is Gucci. And I found this in a bin that looked like someone had thrown it back. So by first glance, it looks really good, like authenticity wise. Um, but I use the app, I'm not sponsored, um, real authentication and I just uploaded photos. I think it was $30 to get authenticated, which kind of seems like a lot. If this happens to be fake, then I just am out $30 plus whatever I paid for it. Um, in that case, I'll keep it, um, but because you can't sell fakes online. So if this is authentic, I'm expecting about 200 to 300 ish, maybe more. It is missing the crossbody strap, but I think this is called the Ophelia. So it will be way worth it if it'll be way worth the $30 I spent if it is real. So hopefully it is, <laughs> but I thought I would show that. Um, next is this brand called James Purse. Um, this one's a size one, which is like a small, I think. This is super nice zip front black like sweater. It's like multiple layers. Um, again, has like that terry cloth inside that that theory sweater had. I was like, I was convinced this was going to be a wool blend, but it's a hundred percent combed cotton. I'm not sure what that means, but it is so soft. It needs to be lint rolled. But I love selling that brand. All right, next is this Babaton sweater. So this is an Aritzia brand, size small. And this is so cute. This is a wool linen blend, like long sleeve. It's pretty basic, but it has a couple things going for it. So I liked that a lot. Okay, this I am still trying to figure out. So I did look up the RN number and some anthropology brand came up, but it wasn't this brand. This is the, I'll, I'll have to focus this one for you. It's called Pride and it's on this metal um, label, it's like tacked on there. And this is a cashmere, like, um, what would you call that? mixed print um patchwork that's what i was looking for patchwork cashmere sweater with like tons of like contrasting stitching all over and it's a cardigan like zip front i will be happy with this even if it isn't anthropology but i just have a feeling it is the rn number is not 66170 which is the anthropology rn number but that could still you never know um okay this I looked up and it the comps weren't as good as I thought they were gonna be but I still got it because it's kind of trendy this is called olive death olive size one and it's a super nice like business career wear blazer it like attaches on the front with this little like hook and eye closure and I just thought it was super nice Let's see what the fabric content's like. Do, do, do. Um, it's just polyester, but yeah, I, I don't know. I thought that was cute and blazers tend to sell pretty well for me. This is Lucky Brand. This one's a size large um, and it's just like a floral boho-y looking blouse. This will just be like probably a $15 sale, but Everything add a, adds up, and I paid less than a dollar for it. This one is a We the Free, Free People, size of medium. This is like that metal tag. This is so cute. The, the upper is just like a crochet, and then this part's just like a white cotton top. It's pretty basic, but I like selling Free People of all sorts. This is a 100% silk Eileen Fisher, size extra small tank top this is like probably something you would wear under like a blazer or something it's just like a basic so cute though like I could see myself wearing that which I wouldn't because I'm not an extra small and I want to sell it but um 
it is 100% silk like I said older tag but I like that and then this is a sports bra so it looks like this it has like a cute wrap front and then an open back the brand is tomboy X and then this one and this is a size 4x so tomboy X you can't really see it because it's like somewhat sheer size 4x I've heard of this before I've never found it so it'll be new to try out um, okay <clears throat> next is this J. Crew men's sweater in a size extra large this is a quarter zip brown sweater and I swear this has to be wool let's see merino wool and alpaca um so yeah it's like a quarter zip sweater this should do pretty well um love selling j crew that has like wool or alpaca in it uh, i have sold this brand before and this is like actually pretty expensive it sold i would say relatively quick but it also got a lot of attention in my closet so this is the brand koyuchi um i'm gonna try to show you I will, yeah, so Koyuchi, and it's like an organic cotton robe. This one's 100% organic cotton, so it's extra small slash small, and it's like a waffle knit, or just like a waffle fabric, in like this nice beige colorful robe, and I was so happy that whoever donated this tied the belt like pretty tight there, so it couldn't come off. I'm always really thankful when people either put the belt like in the pocket or they tie it pretty tight. Okay, so one of my duffel bags is almost empty and I'm going to have to go to my car and get more stuff. You guys, I got so much stuff this day. Quick interruption for a little dog break because look how cute she is right now. Um, so sleepy next to my hall. She's just sitting there like a good girl. And then we have Moose sleeping. Oh, sorry, did I interrupt your nap? Did I interrupt your little sleepy nap? He is so tired. Oh. All right, I got some more stuff out of my car. This is just like a cute little bandeau bra top and it is padded. It's so soft and if you guys have seen any of my like Previous bins hauls, you know that I love picking up bras because they weigh under a dollar. Um, and usually I can make over $10 per. This one is just Sweet Nothings. I've never heard of it, but all bras that I've ever gotten, I've made a profit on. So this one's a size 38. Well, it just says 38. So I don't know like the actual size, like what that's just the, what is that? The, ba the waist or the circumference of your rib cage is that right <laughs> I'm totally I, I don't know but anyways so I grabbed that one thought that was cute the brand is just um, country set and this is a wool I think it's 100% wool like pink blazer um, and it is tweed tweed and then also the little clasps I really need you guys to see how cool these are so they're gold and then, well, probably not real gold, but they go like this and like that. I think this is so cool. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Um, so I thought it was unique, cute vintage. I don't pick up like, vin I'm just not very knowledgeable on the whole vintage realm so when I see something that's vintage and cute I will pick it up just to have fun with it see what happens um, this is assets by Spanx and this is a size large this is just like a nude shapewear tank top I think assets is a diffusion line I might be sold at like Target something like that um, but it's still Spanx so got that one and then this, I saw somebody have this in a new rotation and then they just put it back. So I quickly grabbed it because it's just Nike dry fit, but it's new with tag and it is Nike yoga. 
It only retailed for 35 but I think I could still get like 20 for it. It's just like a cute little t-shirt and Nike new with tags. It's hard to leave behind. So this is a little Lululemon bra. Um, it's in excellent condition. It still has the little pull tag and it happens to be a size 12 and it also still has the padding which I think is removable but it's super cute. I don't know the style name of this one yet but has like some super cute what is that called straps in the back. Love that. This is an anthropology brand little yellow button. Oh, never heard of this one before actually yellow, little yellow button there actually literally is a little why is that that's a tongue twister there is a little yellow button sewn onto the tag um <clears throat> this is actually a pretty cute little top but I recently like right when I brought it home realized that the little embroidery oof, embroidery details are like little flowers so how cute is that little detail so yeah, new to me, anthropology brand, size small. I just thought that was a pretty cute little piece. All right, this is good, but as we all know, Tory Burch clothing doesn't always get the most or it doesn't sell as quick as like a purse or their shoes even, but you know, you can't leave it behind. This is 92% silk, Tory Burch size four. And it's a, so it's like a big oversized, it's a black like zip front blouse, very boxy, very oversized. The sleeves have like this cool slit detail. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then there is a waist like drawstring. I think it's, I mean, it's in excellent condition. I think I'll still list it for around 50. I'll look up comps. It might be a newer style, but I'm not expecting a ton, but it is Tory Burch silk. So this is new to me. I looked this up. I think this might be like a streetwear brand or something. It's called Elles, E-L-L-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, and this is a size medium. It's just, uh, that's the brand right there. Um, it's just a t-shirt in pretty good condition, just white short sleeve. I have no idea comps, but I remember when I picked it up at the bins a couple days ago, it was good enough to grab, which I, I don't know what that means, but we'll see. <laughs> um, next is this J Crew 100% cashmere sweater. This one's a size small. This is so soft. It's just like a, I would call this like a camel color. And it's just like light pilling, which I'm okay with when it comes to cashmere. Uh, what does it say? I'm trying to find the year. Spring of, 20, spring of 2021. Who knew? Okay. I, didn't, I thought that was one of their older tags, but I guess not. All right. This is apparently a pretty good brand. It's called Pilly Q. P-I... You can't see it. P-I-L-Y-Q. Um, and I think this is a skirt. When I was at the bins, I, well, actually, you know what? I think it could be a dress. At the bins, I thought it was a dress, but it's like the snakeskin print. This brand, I think, is sold at either Revolve or like Anthropology or something. I don't remember, but it has a cute print. So I thought that was cute, and the comps were really good. So they are just a pair of denim shorts. These should do okay. Bread and butter. Um, these are. Okay, next are a pair of Spanx. You cannot see it because it's just on the fabric, but they're like the super high-waisted leggings. Um, these might even be maternity, but they also could just be like the shapewear where it comes all the way up and like sex in the stomach. Not sure, but <laughs> they're cute. Um, all right, next I got two pairs of Nike joggers. These ones appear to be women's maybe but I could be wrong size small they're just like a gray jogger sweatpant they're pretty classic with the uh, um, Nike logo there but I find that Nike joggers sell super well 
Um, so those ones. And then these ones are a size large. And they're a thicker material. These ones are really nice condition as well. Okay, are you guys ready for the best item that I found? The best because I was just so excited. So um, there was a new rotation and I felt, here I'll try to show you this part. I saw this come out like from under like a huge pile of clothes, right? And I was like, oh, that looks nice and it feels super soft. That could be like Barefoot Dreams or something. And I was pulling on it and I couldn't get the rest of it. And I was like about to just walk away. I was like, eh, whatever. And then I pulled it a little bit harder and the whole thing came out. And it's this huge robe. It's massive. It's like floor length almost. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what did I just pull? This is Skims. You can't see because it's like written so lightly on the tag. This is skin size small slash medium. And it is like, it still has the belt. This retailed for over a hundred dollars and it feels so like new condition. I'm so excited about this. You guys have no idea. I was shocked that that was just in there. Um, so. Ooh, I gotta get that listed, but it's really nice. Next is this Urban Outfitters size medium. This is like a salmon pink color thermal top. I've sold this exact sweater in two other colors, so I know it sells. <laughs> um, okay, this is new to me brand. I don't think, I don't remember what it was selling for but it says able the label size medium and I just thought it was kind of a cute like sundress this part has the smocking and then the rest is like a tiered floral just print it's super cute and I think that would be good for spring and summer um this has no size because it is lululemon but I'm gonna have to just take a measuring tape and whatever but this is like a merino wool turtleneck and here's the little logo if you see the metal one on the back it's a good sign and yeah they usually put the metal ones on like sweaters or things that they can't print the um like the little <laughs> thing on why can't i describe what i'm trying to say um but yeah the turtleneck Part is pretty long and there's no holes and it's super soft okay we're kind of in the home stretch here of stuff um, so the thing is now is I have to get all this stuff photographed and listed so <clears throat> this is just here I'll just show you this is just loft um, size medium I like some loft stuff but this specifically I was like, oh, this is so cute. I need to grab this. It is, let's see, where, when is it from? Do, 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 do. It's from 2020. The reason I wanted it was because it's like a turtleneck sweater dress. So cute. It's really soft. And it's also just like in excellent condition. Had to grab that. I got, I got this little, Tupperware thing that I need to wash or clean so that was kind of fun oh this was like the first thing I found and I was like oh this is gonna be a good day this is a Patagonia um, women's size extra large which is a really good size as well I mean that's the Patagonia tag and it's like a green what would you call this like seafoam green puffer is it the nano puffer no it could be wrong this one's packable so there's like a way to like put it inside of itself so that was really exciting I'm so glad I found that okay <clears throat> next are these these are BDG which is Urban Outfitters slim straight jeans in a size 28 they are a button fly and I thought these were really cute distressed jeans they're just pretty stylish 
Um, if these don't sell, I feel like my buy sell trade store would take them. Yeah, cute distressed jeans. Pretty simple. Probably won't get more than like 25 for them. All right. Next is cloth and stone. This is a size medium. This is like strictly a brand I'll only get at the bins. Um, and it's just like this white button down shirt. Pretty simple, but actually really cute. And I have been selling cloth and stone pretty regularly. This is Nike size medium. And they're actually pretty cute. These are a pair of shorts um, that have like different logos all over, like multiple lo Nike logos. So this might be like a collab or something, but I'm gonna get those listed. This is just Columbia, but I've been selling some Columbia outerwear recently and so I will pick it up. Especially lightweight vests like this. It's just a blue color. It needs to be washed, but it's just a medium. Um, nice lightweight puffer. So that will probably sell pretty well, most likely on eBay. Um, this is pretty nice. This is Levi's and I can't figure out the size. Let's see. Medium. Okay. I think this might, this is, well, let's see how this works. Here's the tag. And this is a genuine leather hooded jacket. So it looks like this. And it has like this built in like sweatshirt material, which is like sewn. So it's not like its own thing, but it's makes it look like you're wearing a sweatshirt under it. It's pretty nice. I need to look up comps on that because I feel like it could be pretty good. Okay guys, that was absolutely everything in my bins haul for today. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe so you don't ever miss content like this in the future. And give this video a like. Comment below what your favorite piece was. Mine was definitely that Skims robe. Um, tempted to try it on, but I think I should just list it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye all.